What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. As always, if you enjoy the kind of content I'm putting out, feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below, share with your friends, all that good YouTube stuff. But today, we are getting a little scary. We're getting a little spooky. We are doing a Sweeney Todd reaction today. Uh, I have seen the Johnny Depp movie, of course. Uh, I feel like most people, if you're into musicals, have. Uh, and it was very well done. It was very good. Uh, I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd, too. So I, I always love seeing the Harry Potter actors in other things. Especially when there's more than one person. Like in Sweeney Todd, Snape was there. Wormtail was there. Bellatrix was there. It was excellent. Um, but I've never actually seen it performed. I, I've never seen any, like, version of it on Broadway or on stage or anything like that. And this is apparently, like, a, a live concert of Sweeney Todd. Uh, it came out in 2014, uh, is what uh, my amazing patron Brittany told me. Uh, she is the one who suggested this, so thank you so much for that, Brittany. I appreciate it. Uh, but this is going to be, like, the, uh, I don't know, like, the opening number. And when I think of the opening of Sweeney Todd, at least the movie, uh, I'm pretty sure it was just like an orchestral score with all of the blood going through the sewers and everything in London. So I'm not 100% sure what this is going to be, but apparently Christian Borel is in it. And if you know me, if you've been following this channel, you know I absolutely love Christian Borel, anything that he is in. So I am really excited for this. So yeah, thanks again, Brittany. And let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so far, Christian Borel is the only name that I recognize. Oh, Audrey McDonald. Okay, so we got two. No, oh, Christian. I'm assuming that's probably Sweeney and Mrs. Lovett. Uh, my patron told me apparently Christian plays uh, Pirelli. So I've got to find a video of him doing his song. <laughs> The tale of Sweeney Todd. His skin was pale and his eye was odd. He shaved the faces of gentlemen who never thereafter were heard of again. He trod a path that few had trod. Did Sweeney Todd? The demon babbled of Fleet Street. He kept a shop in London town Of fancy clients and good renown In what if none of their souls were saved They went to their maker and impeccably shaved By Sweeney By Sweeney Todd The, the demon mother of Fleet Street, Street. Oh my god, what is happening? Fancy chair, a mug of suds and a leather strop, an apron, a towel, a pail, and a mop. 
Is that is that the end? I don't want that to be the end. of Peru, but there's no place like London. I feel a home again. I could hear the city bells ring. Oh my god. Okay, alright, so that is the opening, apparently. That, that was really, really good. Like, I, from like the screenshot or from from the description, I assumed that this was just going to be like it looked at the beginning, like a staged reading. Everybody had they were just wearing nice clothes. They had their um their music stands, their books, and it just seemed like it was going to be a concert. And then it just went a completely different way. That was that was really really cool. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get big. So theatrically speaking that show or that number was absolutely incredible like how it started out gave you that the whole mislead like yep this is just going to be <clears throat> whatever we're dressed up in our nice clothing we have our books in front of us stage reading like i said before and then they started throwing pianos around like they the going off book was fantastic just dropping the book like yep nope we don't need it and then he motions over to christian who walks over to the to the vase and starts knocking shit down. It's like, oh, oh, okay, things are happening here. And then Sweeney opens up his, like, chest and is handing out megaphones and spray paint and what looked like a birdcage. Uh, it, it was awesome. It was so cool and it was so expected. The lighting and everything was really cool with those the, the really powerful reds and then it would just be super dark and then incredibly well lit. <clears throat> like, just how that was performed was so so good i need to see this this entire concert like i i need to i i really need to if anybody has a link to it please pop it down in the comments the actor that played sweeney todd absolutely killed it he did a really good job and it was it was it was quite the departure from johnny depp's sweeney todd and I know I'm sure several, several people have portrayed that character over the years, but Johnny Depp is the only person I've ever seen do it. Uh, but yeah, this guy, that that bass, that power in his voice. 
I'm not saying Johnny Depp did a bad job, but I am really excited, really intrigued to see how this guy does it through the entire show. Because Sweeney isn't just angry the entire time. You know, he, he kind of is, but he, he also is, is hopeful. He's ambitious. He has got a lot of, he's got a lot of things going on. He's not, I wouldn't say he is a one-dimensional character, although revenge does kind of drive him the majority of this thing. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, this, this gentleman, I don't remember his name, did a really good job. I love the song, too. The song was really good, uh, especially because I don't think that it was in the movie. I don't believe that it was. I think it might have been cut for the sake of, I don't know, time or whatever. There's many reasons to cut songs in movie adaptations. But it was really cool. That was a really great kind of start to give you kind of the the base premise of the show. Like, hey guys, in case you didn't read the playbill, this is what we're about to get into here. And I hope that you really enjoy it. And yeah, that was really cool. I wonder how many other songs are in the actual Sondheim version that were cut uh, for the movie version. I know Rent had a couple. I think Rent had two or three, maybe four. Um, but yeah, Sweeney Todd was such a such an interesting musical, such a dark, broody musical. I, I, I would love to see the entire thing live. I, I, I really would. Um, and yeah, everything about this performance though was super cool. Like, there were so many people running around. And when you listen to the score of Sweeney Todd, you can definitely tell it's it's a chaotic score. There is so much going on. It hitting you from the left, hitting you from the right. And this performance, especially with the actors, you know, running around and grabbing everything, it, it really encapsulated that incredibly well. So I don't know how much of that translates to the actual like Broadway stage and not just this concert stage, but I would hope a lot because it was, it was such a great way to start this. Like, way to go. Um, yeah, please, please, somebody link me the entire thing down in the comments because this must be watched. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. This was, yeah, this was really cool. Um, so yeah, thank you again, Brittany. I really appreciate it, the, the support, the patronage, all that good stuff. And yeah, I will see you all in a reaction incredibly soon.